Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the news of Ashirok TV. Today's stories include The Civil Aviation Authority extended its decision for closing down Khartoum International Airport until June the 14th. The Federal Ministry of Health has announced the registration of 279 new cases of coronavirus. Ethiopia expressed deep concern over what it termed as May 28th incident along the Sudanese-Ethiopian borders. Welcome to the details. The Civil Aviation Authority extended its decision for closing down Khartoum International Airport for domestic and international flights until June the 14th in accordance with COVID-19 precautionary measures, which issued earlier by the state. The decision excluded the scheduled and additional cargo flights, humanitarian and technical assistance, the flights related to the companies operating in oil fields and evacuation of foreigners. All the excluded flights are subjected to prior approval by the Civil Aviation Authority. The Federal Ministry of Health has announced Saturday the registration of 279 new cases of the new coronavirus, in addition to 29 deaths, according to the epidemiological report of Thursday 28th and Friday May 29th, 2020. This brings the total number of cases of COVID-19 infection since the beginning of the pandemic in Sudan to 4,800 cases, including 262 deaths. Meanwhile, 457 recovered cases shows rapid increase and brings the total number of people recovering to 1,271 cases. The government ratified the Act on Protection of Medical Personnel, which was demanded by the employees in the medical and health sector after a number of doctors and caterers in the medical and health field were subjected to inconveniences and assaults while performing their work. At uh, the regular news forum of Sudan News Agency, the Minister of Health, Akram Atom, announced that the Transitional Sovereign Council and the Council of Ministers have approved the Act on Protection of Health Personnel, which was signed by the President of the Transitional Sovereign Council, Abdel Fattah al-Burhan. The Governor of Jazeera State, Ahmed Hanan, has recovered from COVID-19 and assumed office, the Secretariat General of Jazeera State Government said in a statement issued on Sunday. The statement also affirmed that the doctor who follows up the case confirmed the recovery of General Hanan from the pandemic. The Secretariat appreciated the great efforts being exerted by the Ministry of Health and the health caterers to curb the coronavirus pandemic and the provision of health care for the infected people in the different isolation centers, as well as raising the awareness on social distancing to prevent outbreak of the disease. The Ethiopian Foreign Ministry expressed deep concern over what it termed as May 28th incident along the Sudanese-Ethiopian borders, expressing condolence and deep sympathy with the families of the victims in the two countries. The Sudanese armed forces issued a statement on the penetration of the Sudan international borders by Ethiopian army supported militia, which killed Sudanese commander and a number of civilians, including children. Statement issued by the Ethiopian Foreign Ministry spokesman said Ethiopia works to contain the situation on the ground to avoid further tensions, calling on the two countries to work together through the existing military mechanism to address the circumstances surrounding the incident. The Democratic Unionist Party origin has affirmed its support to the armed forces in preventing the country's sovereignty and protecting its borders, appreciating the heroic role of the army in confronting the Ethiopian military attack on the country's eastern borders. In a statement, the Democratic Unionist Party has called for exploiting all means to build a modern and national army that plays its role in protecting the country's borders and natural resources. The party called on the Ethiopian leadership to take into consideration the good neighborliness and historical relations between the two peoples and to desist from repeating such negative attempts that would not be for the benefit of the two countries, the region and the international peace and security. The Prosecutor of the International Criminal Court, or ICC, Fatou Ben Souda, has officially requested Sudanese authorities to grant an office to the ICC team to begin investigations. Ben Souda says her office would like to begin its mission in Sudan to collect evidence and reach witnesses on war crimes and genocide that took place in Darfur. Ben Souda revealed in a briefing to the subcommittee of the European Parliament for Human Rights that the outset president refused to cooperate with her office, noting that the situation in Darfur has been investigated by her office. 
With more sadness and sorrow, Minister of Culture, Information and Staff of the Ministry and its units mourns the journalist Omar Hallag, who died after a long struggle with illness. Hallag made his obituary against his many colleagues and friends in the media and in a Shuruq channel that he worked in before his recent migration. Hallag put his distinguished mark on a number of television and cinematic programs and he left, leaving a good biography for a creative person who enjoyed the love and appreciation of his colleagues and friends. Reminding headlines. The Civil Aviation Authority expanded its decision for closing down Khartoum International Airport until June the 14th. The Federal Ministry of Health has announced the registration of 279 new cases of coronavirus. Ethiopia expressed deep concern over what it termed as May 28th incident along the Sudanese-Ethiopian borders. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was everything for tonight. Thank you for following and see you tomorrow.